500 unfinished Gold Coast apartments. Let's have a look. Hello everyone, Florian here and welcome to another episode of Heiser Says. Grab your Stein of coffee, let's check out this article about 500, they say 5,000 here, which seemed insane when I read it, but it's 500 down here. Gold Coast apartments with GCB constructions are unfinished as fears mount for the company. Oh boy, this seems to be like a regular thing, doesn't it? The company's stability in question as subcontractors claim they're unpaid. Okay, now the danger with this is the company could be fine, but the rumor mill could be gone. Four buildings worth more than half a million are ghost sites, so people aren't getting paid, they're not going to turn up. Regardless of what the contract says, some subbies will just go, nah, stuff it. Off the plan, this is why, guys, off the plan is always dangerous. Off the plan buyers have been left in limbo as almost 500 units remain unfinished by a major building company as workers desert the company's sites. Four major developments on the Gold Coast under construction by GCB constructions have wound down since the weekend as subcontractors claim invoices remain unpaid. The company's stability is in question with projects worth more than, I'm assuming, $500 million. The sites include the fifth tower in the $200 million Vanguard project at Benoa, the 160 Amaya Broad Beach and Drift Main Beach, and the 182 Marine Quarter, which was previously the subject of a court battle between GCB and developer BuildCap. GCB Constructions Managing Director Trent Clark previously said the parties had come to a mutual agreement to ensure the Marine Quarter project could progress. Many of the apartments are already under construction, and now the buyers face an anxious wait for news on the state of their purchase. Local doctor James Ellingford is one of those. He purchased a three-bedroom corner apartment in the second tower of the 182 million Marine Quarter project at Southport. He told the Gold Coast Bulletin he intended to rent it out before moving in and says he has a thousand questions. I'm very disappointed, he says. Yeah, I'm not surprised. I mean, this is... Buying a unit like this, probably to downsize, when you don't have the kids, you don't need the yard anymore, you don't want to deal with all the, the hassle, uh, it's, it's, it can have many advantages. But this is not what you want to go through. It's a damn shame. It just means we're in a sort of limbo while we see what happens. The stalling of the site appears to have come as a shock to the developers of the project. Two developers have taken to social media in the past week to share a positive construction up- update. One video shows the GDI group development at Drift Main Beach progressing nicely. Yet the particular development has been chained off and no work has been done on the site this week. Oh. Oh, no. This is just a mess. At completion, the building is expected to have 30 levels and include 46 apartments. At nearby Vantage View at Benoa and Vantage Burley, even if the projects are finished, they will be past their completion date. The 45 million 14 level 46 apartment Burley project was set to be finished last year but remains incomplete while Vantage View is the fifth and final building in Ray John's 200 million Vantage project at Benoa and was due to be completed in July but the roof has only just been poured. The building once completed will have 15 levels and contain 120 apartments. The Daily Mail has contacted GCP Managing Director Trent Clark for comment. Let's jump over and see some of the comments on this article that people have left. So how is Albert explaining all these building firms collap- collapsing? This is to his <laughs> CFMEU paymasters. Yeah, no, that's... Yeah. Why does DM use a picture of a young female construction worker every single time? They don't represent the reality of the average worker on these sites, so why do they keep doing it? Because they're pretty. That's why. Uh, when the construction industry grows, everything goes. Yes. Anyone who buys off the plan must have rocks in their head. Um, where will the 1.5 million immigrants live? That's an interesting question. It's, well, uh, it's going to be interesting times, guys. So if you're there waiting on the sidelines, hoping for a huge property collapse, remember, that's more demand, even for rentals, even for investments. Thanks to inflationary elbow, you're witnessing the greatest collapse in Australia history. How many have gone under in 12 months? Join the dots, we're effed. Seen this coming for a very long time, but people still buy off the plan. Yeah, they still buy off the plan. Someone needs to go to jail. 
Better jobs, better pay. Ask Alba how that's working out. So, yeah, not not so many people happy there with Alba's comments. There you go. The free. Oh, well, no, she's not a construction worker. She looks like a traffic controller. That's what a lot of the girls are doing. Don't blame them. Well, guys, let's uh, have a bit of a talk about this. So here we have, well, another builder with bad signs. We'll have to see what's going on, guys. The problem is the rumor mill can spell trouble for projects like this. But, I mean, if people aren't getting paid and they're not coming on site, what, here we go, what is it? You know, with with a subby, you're not going to go and work and pay for your time and your resources and your labor and use your equipment and everything if you're not going to get reimbursed. Another one to watch, guys. Another one to watch. As always, thanks for watching. Check out Heiser Bim or Heiser Does if you want to look at other content I create. If you want to support us, you can on YouTube or Patreon. Use our referral links, buy our pocket squares, or call us if you need an architect. Take care, everyone. Have a great day, and I'll see you all in the next episode of Heiser Says. Bye for now.